Hello you guys, welcome to today's English Home Language, Term 2, Week 4, Wednesday's Week. Today we're going to do listening and speaking, phonics and writing. Now let's start with the first part, listening and speaking. Today we're going to talk about different ways on how we prepare food. Can you name a few things we do to prepare our food? Here are seven things that we can do with it. There are, of course, many more, but we're just going to talk about these seven today. Cook, fry, peel, spread, cut, microwave, and dry. Remember, cook is when you make something in a pot. Fry is when you make something in a pan. Peel is when you peel pieces off of it with a potato peeler or with your hands. Spread is when you spread something with a knife. Cut, you know by now, is when you cut with a knife. Microwave is when you make something in the microwave by putting it in there and letting it cook in there. And then dry is when you leave something out to get dry. I want you to make columns for me with the following headings. Cook, fry, peel, spread, cut, microwave and dry. After this, I'm going to give you words that I want you to sort out in the columns for how we prepare them. Remember, some foods can be prepared in more than one way, so some of them are going to be in more than one column. The words I give you is chicken, banana, grapes, Nutella, Remember, Nutella is chocolate spread, cheese spread, peanut butter, potato, popcorn, bacon, watermelon, tomato, apple, steak, noodles, dry sausage, and biltong. Now, I'm going to give you some time. You may pause the video, go write them in the right columns. And then you play the video again. Then I will show you where some of them fit it. Your answers could have been in the following places. At cook, you could have had the words chicken, potato, tomato, apple, steak and noodles. In the second column, the word you could have put there is chicken, as we cut it and can fry it then, potato, when we make nice um, chips, bacon and steak. At peel, you could only have written three words, banana, potato and apple. At spread, you also could only have put three words, Nutella, cheese bread and peanut butter. At cut, you could have put, written the following answers, chicken, banana, potato, Bacon, watermelon, tomato, apple, and steak. At microwave, you could only have written four words. Chicken, potato, popcorn, and noodles. The last part. At dry, you could have written only the following words. Banana, grapes, because remember when we dry grapes, we get raisins. Apple dry sausage, and built on. The next part for today's work is phonics. For today's phonics, we are going to make ch words. I'm going to give you the beginning sounds, the middle sounds, and the end must be ch. The beginning sounds that you may use for the words are the following. M, H, F, B, P, N, L, W, Str, B, K, S, K, St, S, W, S, N, F, S, K, R, and K. The middle sounds are only five sounds that you may use. A, E, E, O, and A. And then you must end with CH. I want you to go look and make as many words as you can. 
Here are two examples. For my first word, as an example, I chose the beginning sound m, mm, the middle sound a, eh, and then ch, which makes the word match. For my second example, I chose the sound str, the middle sound e, eh, and the end ch, which we read as stretch. Now go see how many words you can make. If you can make more than 10, then you are very clever. The last part for today is handwriting. Today again, we're going to learn to write cursive two different letters. The first one is Z for zebra. Look very carefully because it looks entirely different from the Z that we write in print script. You go up a little bit. You go like a little rainbow. You go skew down. Make a small loop, then you go down, make a big loop, then you go skew up again, and then you go and repeat it. The second letter that you're going to practice writing cursive today is Y for yellow. It goes skew up, makes like a small rainbow, then it goes a little bit straight down, then it makes a big upside down rainbow, go straight up, go skew down, make a big loop, and then you repeat it. Now the last part that I want you to do today is homework. Now I want you to go read for me at storyberries.com. Remember to go practice your spelling words. The following words each 10 times. Loaf, feast, watch, toast, match, bench, scream, French, batch, and jeans. Thank you very much for joining me today and can't wait to see you again. Bye bye.